I am so hot. And I mean that in the in the sense that it is really hot in this house. Like, oh my god, who has the heating on this this high? Uh, well, it's not actually on right now, but it's just like oof. I'm one of those people that is just very warm anyway. So uh, I mean, I don't like to sweat like profusely or anything like that, but like. I'm just like, I don't get cold, is what I mean to say. Anyway, today, uh, we are, of course, back as the uh, Dwarves of Khazad-dum. And what we're doing here is we're just setting ourselves up for a strike on Dunland. Um, obviously, we've got two more spaces here. Uh, who wants to come along? Um, what do we need? Have we got solid Action. amounts of spearmen? We've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's okay. So let's just take them and take them. And we're going to hide out in... Oh, actually, let's go in those trees. Oh, that's not working out. Right, go back in them trees and hide. Oh, why are they so rubbish? Anyway, um, <laughs> we are, of course, under siege there. And uh, that's about it, really. Uh, we've got this guy moving over here. And we've just taken Morbitar. And we have Dom on his way to Condum. And Condum is being besieged by Barlin. But he's waiting on Dom to be within like a turn or so that he can nip in and get the one ring. Uh, we've got some issues with public order in Litash, but hopefully we can sort that out. Um, if we just uh, send some units over there. Can you get... Oh, you can't quite get in there. How, what is it? 65%. We're going to have some rioting there, but hopefully it will be okay. Now, we've got all the construction already done for this turn. I do just want to make sure, yeah, there's nothing actually to train. So let's end the turn and uh, kick this one off with a bang. The last ride of the Rahirim. Um, yeah, and I'd just like to point out that uh, I was right about Litash rioting indeed. Uh, did we uh, occupy, oh god, it's going to riot again. Hopefully this, oh, <laughs> Ooh, I also like to live dangerously. Um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to point out, uh, thank you very much to some really nice comments recently from uh, Austin X Lynn, and uh, just saying that he likes the the stuff that I put out. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think it was predominantly the uh, Dax stuff, but then also Massey Ferguson. Uh, Thank you very much for the kind words that you said on the recent law video. Uh, very nice of you to say so. Um, right, well, whilst you're going through by there, get that fort. So, you know, I just like to be able to see. And we can see here that the realm of Lothlorien have attacked the dominion of Isengard. And Dunlendings are allied to the AA. But um, we already know that... Oh, that's not good. So, <laughs> Isengard have taken the wall. I mean, it's amazing that there's anything left, even, of um, of Rohan. Uh, do, so, that's where they're being attacked. Okay, so they've got Helm's Deep still, but they've... Presumably, they might have Oldberg. But they've got nothing over here. So, uh, Lothlorien are marching for. Um, that could go very badly for them now that Rohan's out of the picture. Like, they've got nothing else to do besides um, attack. Right. Um, hmm. This is interesting. We could attack that. Or we could attack Captain, um, Captain H over here. It is winter. We will draw them out. I have no idea. I mean, we've got a catapult. It's not the end of the world if this entire force... I don't think we'd lose even, like, no matter what they've got. Yeah, they've got a lot of cavalry, but uh, you know what? I think we need to have a big, big old fight uh, to make sure we get rid of them. And hopefully, um, although I'm not entirely sure, we might not actually have 
the required range to get into the settlement, even if we do wipe these guys out. But they've got... What have they got? they got Wolves Pikes. That is the only real unit we need to watch out for. Although the cavalry might prove to be difficult. Uh, but they've got one, two, three. Three units of them there. And four, five units in total. They've got a few of the Eisen Mac Gaxman and a couple of the Dunherd champions. And indeed, they've got a couple of generals as well that we will have to watch out for. But uh, they will. I'm going to let them kind of get into one cohesive bunch and hopefully we'll let the siege do the rest. The time's come, lads, to battle. Let's begin. The and man. they what will they undoubtedly go for that courage. high ground. What are they? No, they're coming straight for us. Well, this is excellent news. By the way, just look at... How cool do these units look when they're hiding? I think they look great. And here are the King's Axes. Looking fantastic. Next to the Khazadim Guardians. Lying in wait. And... Oh, wait. We've got cavalry over here as well. Um, I forgot about that. Um, let's bring them over here. And they will, of course, try their utmost... To flankers. We've got a robust line of pikes there. Let's aim for... Yeah, if we can just aim for their pikes. That'll be fantastic. But yeah, they are just going to be doing their best to uh, flank us. So, we of course have got Sons of the Fallen here. And we've got all of our axe throwers at the back. And, um, yeah, we've got some more shield guard over here. Hopefully it goes okay. I obviously do not want to be skewering any men at all of our own. And you know what? That's probably enough. <laughs> They're quite difficult to use, really, but... Uh, if we remain true and steadfast, right, I'm not so afraid of these guys' as charge, like, at all. But, yeah, now they've discovered us. Right, get in. And you go and attack them. Yeah, they've got wolf swordsmen and things like that over here. And, oh dear, that's not fantastic. Because that was our defense against those folks. Hey, the cavalry. Look at them, just trying to find a way in. But Right, we're going to do some flanking here. Yes. Yes, she is, actually. Um, yeah, this might hurt. Uh, oh, no, they're not charging. So that is absolutely fine. Um, I can hear some moving over here. You know what? If you just throw in your axes at them. Our general's right there. They're going to get a charge on us, I think. But looks like we were a bit... Too slow to uh, actually do anything about them. I mean, the good thing about the dwarves is that you could just stand there and you will likely win. Uh, <laughs> because you, your units are just so good. Um, like I can hear them trundling around here, but yeah, did they even... They killed one dude. Like That might hurt a bit more. Right, charge them. Yeah, and they charged them in the back. But again, they didn't really kill very many, did they? Right, Axe Guard of Erebor, if you'd like to... I don't know, really. I, I think you're okay. We could just hold on to that ammunition for a bit. Uh, there are some Wolves Pikes there. But again, we, we'll just go a bit further back with this. Just so that uh, for the reinforcements, we'll aim to uh, take them out. This is a really good formation. And they've just scuppered their charge there, by and large. Dunlending horsemen just don't have the mass, really, to do a whole lot to us anyway. And I haven't even been checking out the the numbers for the First Legion. They're suffering a bit over here. A little bit. So, yeah, actually, let's bring those guys forward. Or do we throw in our general? What do they have here? Just wolf swordsmen? Now we'll use our... Uh, our stuff. I mean, we could use 
uh, this this unit. <laughs> but they're way too close to actually get hit by the um, by the uh, what 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 they, what's it called? Like the I'm, it's, I'm totally blanking. We can't. There's no point using the uh, special shot anyway. Right, they, they keep on charging us over here. Mounted Warband, I think, are actually effective against armor. Cavalry, rather. And I don't really want to lose our cavalry, because we don't seem to get a whole lot of them. Right, if they just stand right there, then we shall try and just fire at them. And that'll be fantastic. You're still throwing your axes or maces in. Because uh, this unit here of pikes is suffering a little bit. Because they are being slightly flanked. But absolutely crushing them from the front. And... Right, Eisenmach Axeman over there. Just notice that. We just lost ammunition and they didn't even fire. Right, fire over there. You've almost used up your ammunition. And also, note how the AI does definitely cycle charge. Because, like, these units over here are cycle charge. Oh, what the? How are they allowed to do that? Oh, well. It's only in the baluster, so it's not, like, the most critical thing. But, uh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. It's very easy on the micro. It's just a bit, a bit meh that they keep on attacking our non-spear units. But it looks like they are now attacking us. There. Right, if you'd like to just attack them... And we can't really catch these fools either. Like, where's the seed of cavalry? Oh my god. Okay, well, they have just. Uh, what were they chasing? Were they chasing that unit of cavalry? I have no idea anyway, but. Um, if they can get away, what is the movement speed of them? 100%. Well, we should be able to get back behind the lines, but. Unless they get uh, quartered by some other units, then they should be absolutely fine. Right, fire at them. And you just stop what you're doing and just fire at them over there. And you go and attack those wolves' pikes because they are taking a bloody long time to die. What's happening over here then? Uh, we've got Kazadim Guardians there. If you can, just hurry up and kill them. And we've got some wolves' pikes on the way. Over there. We just need to plug this little hole over here. Really. And oh my... Oh no, that's our unit. <laughs> hey, they made it. Nice. Right. Let's... Uh... Is that a unit? No, that's just dead horses. Right. Let's charge them in the back. I'd kind of want to take out that unit of cavalry, but we don't really have any uh, units suited for that. Unless they just stand there, then let's go ahead and do that. I'll use our general just to plug that hole. And it's looking, looking pretty good. I don't see any cavalry over here. So I think now we should probably start flanking. So that's one of our units. And Chieftain's bodyguard over there. Right. You go over there. Same with you. And yeah, then they don't quite know how. The ballast is not the most versatile in fights such as this. And I loathe to get too much friendly fire with a catapult. I just do not trust them. But because they've got their... They've got two generals here today. I think they'll probably stick around and fight for a very long time. Which is good news for us. Because we do need to kill them all. 
Um, and how are we doing on that front? We've lost 18%. They've lost 56. Which is pretty good. Right, go and attack them. Right, look at these units of First Legion. Just unmoving. Unwavering. Unbroken. I almost want to just... T should we take them off defensive? Let's take them off defensive. Let's go ahead and do that. They'll just start slowly creeping forwards, as you can see there. And uh, the enemy, they're not even getting a hit in. We're just absolutely wrecking them. Um, Wolves Pikes have slightly kind of uh, pinned us down over here. Let's come over here, go through that gap. And we're going to go straight in at these folks. And that's probably enough there from the catapult. We'll bring one of the reclaimers over here. Oh, good hits there. Right, just charge them head on. It's not really a good idea to do, but um, we're going to do that anyway. And we'll do some flanking then with uh, this here unit. And we'll just send those around the back to do some flanking as well. Right. Our generals having a bit of a hard time. Oh, he's up against Dizenback Axeman. That's probably why. I have good faith in him. But also, let's just get this unit round the uh, back now as well. Because that mounted warband. If they do come for this here unit, then I think we'll probably be okay regardless. And attack them. Oh, we've got some routing, is it? Right, attack them in the back. Looks like they're trying to do... Oh, uh, I forgot to uh, hold down the shift there. But yeah, they're charging at us from the back. We'll uh, do the same. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their But head. yeah, this this here unit this needs to go, so let's get the cavalry and uh, try and sort them out. But other than that Oh, there we go. The enemy general there goes the enemy general. We have sent the cart and down. that might prove Yeah, so the Isaac Axeman they're running away. Let's try and catch as many as we can. Um, there are obviously other units other than just uh, that one army, but if we're going to get the settlement and really, like, hurt Dunland, then um, we absolutely need to make sure that we take out their settlements. And I think it's working out pretty well. It's just them over there. Right, all of you, just attack this mounted warband. Just chase them off the field. And we'll use our cavalry to try and pick off as many as we can. Here we go. Here's the other chieftain's bodyguard. And there we go. The enemy are That's Cameron and Marek down. And obviously the captain as well. Heroic victory. Just showing how amazing our infantry is that I don't even have to micro. Um, I just leave them to it. And even with all that cavalry cycle charging, we did pretty well. Legion Deep in Guard 342. The first Legion, look at that. They took hardly any casualties. It was like amazing work there. Um, 298 and 295 and 332 all in all absolutely sublime like could this be the breakthrough that we've been looking for obviously there's still like those armies that are around there but oh there we go where can a oh i mean we're gonna be selling this but like for what they've done to us i'm gonna sack it for the money thank you very much and, you know, there's a very real chance that they will now come over here. But I think we do... Yeah, Dunland border over here obviously does uh, border by rig. So they might still uh, carry on there. But 
let's get... Oh, there's our diplomat. Let's go ahead and give this on over to our to good old you, friends. friends. Uh, we're not even going to bother. Like, we got decent money out of that already from sacking it. Um, they are bankrupt, though. Like, that's not good. <laughs> like, they're not going to have the money for to actually pay for this. Um, like, okay, let's just have a look here. Ten, how about 10,000? Like, that's very generous, but will they... Are they... Uh, okay, hang on. Let's just try it. Let's try 15, 1, 2, 3. Let's try that. It's still generous. And if they don't take it, I do not. I think... I, I just don't think they've got the money. So, so, let's just ask for something very meager. Very meager indeed. Just regular tribute of... Um, 750. Like, how bad is bankrupt? I'd imagine that's below 1,000. So let's just go 750 for 10 turns. That's that's 7,500. How could nice. We refuse such an honor there you and go. A pleasure. Farewell. And they've got no one in there. Uh. <laughs> we might just have to retake it or something. I mean, I suppose that's okay. I suppose. Uh, Anon Enerod got a Hall of Aule, which is fantastic. Uh, we can get our, you know, run-of-the-mill units in the uh, top-tier spec there. Let's just get a mining complex. How much is that giving us? About a thousand. About a thousand. And how much does the regular one give? Oh. So it's giving us about 250 extra gold coins per turn. Not not amazing, but uh, we've got so much money. That probably doesn't matter too much. So uh, how many turns? That's seven. I do actually want to assault that myself. Um, I kind of want to go and have a look in at Kandam. And we did get a unit of Sons of the Fallen, as you can see there. So... Um, reasonably worthwhile to do all that. Aye, sir. Let's just um, my king, onward. Let's just retrain those, and we'll probably send them down south if required. But of course, we are about to hopefully get the one ring, and we're gonna have to think about what we're gonna do with it. First, we will have to come down here and have a chat with Elrond in Rivendell. And from there, we will have the decision to make whether or not we actually want to destroy it. Do we hold or give it to them? And then, you know, that kind of ceases the One Ring script. Or do we make the pledge to come down here and destroy it in Mordor? Now, to do that, obviously, you can do such things as, like, have four armies, full banner armies, march as one. And then no army will ever attack you due to the auto-resolve. But... That is a thought for the future, I suppose. Um, let's use the spy. Now that there's no Dunlendings actually around here. Where is this town? Is it? Oh, it's there. Um, this is useful reconnaissance. Um, let's just come down here. Because this is Barad Vin. This is now their capital, apparently. But it's also a castle. So this is where a lot of their units will be coming from. You know, besides their former capital. So uh, I did get the suggestion to just go in and take Baradvin. A decent proposal. Um, if we could just take these two regions, give them over to the Northern Dunedain, I think that will probably aid them enough. And Because they are already kind of beating them back. Obviously, they don't have all the Shire yet, but uh, hopefully that will be all that is required. Right, let's end the turn. I think... <laughs> I think with this, surely Rohan are no more. Dunlarak has fallen. Anduin's doing well, though. Oh, it is as I foresaw. Um, We're going to do as I said. I mean, it feels kind of wrong to break off that alliance. But we can only remain allies with one of these two peoples. Would you prefer it were the aggressor? And I say nay. Oh dear. But, you know, 
a dwarf's got to do what a dwarf's got to do. Like, <laughs> it's setting it up nicely, yeah, though. Um, but, uh, they, yeah, they attacked the Woodland Realm. And also, they now declared a truce with um, Kamul, which is odd, but, you know, is what it is. Sometimes that can happen. And you also then got Great Roads as well, which is fantastic. Um, what to get, what to get, because, like, we will perhaps be needing some units over here. Wait, hang on. Did I just see that right? Was there something? Oh, no, some of the Fallen. I thought there was uh, Dragon Slayers here. Um, what if we got that? No, hang on. Corruption, one, six, four, eight, going down to... That's going to save us 100 gold. That's going to save us about 100 gold as well. Obviously, you do lose 100 from building income. Let's just get the... Uh, hmm. No, get that first, because, I mean, yeah, that gives 5% bonus to law, but it doesn't give us anything extra, because that already gives it. Um, Mount Gundabad got a feast hall, and I think now is perhaps the time to get the Hall of Durin. Um... That also provides some lore. Yes, it does. Um, and then hopefully we will be able to start getting some of the Hammers of Gundabad. Perhaps they will be in the army that will rise to take on our brethren over in the east. Or rather, just to claim that territory. We're not, like, necessarily going to be at war with them. But uh, anyway, I mean, we will be in terms of the game. Over here, let's just get an... Armory, that's going to save us some money. I mean, we could actually just try moving the capital, but I doubt it would make... Because, like, Kaza Dumb makes just so much money that, like, percentage-wise, like, we could maybe move it to Zag Kala, but even that would probably lose us some money. But perhaps once we get Erebor and places like that, we might think about moving it to Goblin Town. Um, but... We've saved Byrig, which is good, I guess. Let's just, uh, oh, why are they moving back so much? Graw, graw, graw. I mean, there's two very big armies here, but the Dunedain are coming down. Um, you know what? Graw, if you can, I mean, we'll just let the Dunedain do as they may. We're going to just try and completely eliminate their armies here. But they might move for Tharbad. Um, if they stay here and take Dunderak, then we'll besiege it. If not, uh, if not, then we're just going to move for this place over here and then give that over hopefully during the course of the next winter and then we can draw a close to the book of horrors which has been the done landing so uh, let's just come down here with the spy and have a look so they do have another castle over here in ha um yeah herefordshire um but then there's also dunland border over here i forget what it's called now but uh done something. It's not done the rack, it's not Byrig, it's it's inconsequential to the point I'm trying to make. Anyway, coming of age, Dwildin. Right. Dwildin. Um, perhaps you could just stay there, because I don't really want Oin to necessarily stay here too much longer. Uh, oh, that was not a good move. It's okay, though. This is going to come up in the next turn, and we'll get the 10% boost to happiness, and 70% also is just fine. So, one more turn, is it? Next turn, we could probably go in and take Khan Dun. I can't quite remember what it's like. No, it's got, like, three entrances, and it's got two rings. And it does have ballasted towers, so let's get some your order, some of them in, and uh, yeah, and we'll see Chieftain Hoonvorn, hopefully, 
go down. But I, I imagine there's plenty of you that are questioning my tactics down here in Dunlin. But uh, I'm just really trying hard to um, get the Northern Dunedain to get them going. So that then we'll have a really good and strong ally to hopefully... like, Because Isengard are going to push through here as soon as we take this region. Um, and hopefully... The and uh, Northern Dunedain will be able to oppose them successfully, which I think they will be. Um, so, uh, let's end the turn. Oh, and the Northern Dunedain, they're bringing us in. They're calling, uh, they're calling us in. I think we should probably help them out. Yeah. Um, they've got no general here today. They've got some cavalry, but looks like some of these... No, I don't, I don't know. Some of them have seen some kind of battle before. We've got some Eisenmach Axemen and Dunherd Champions. And some Berserkers as well. Uh, let's go in there and have a look. The enemy of here we are. And here are the... Also, apologies, because it is clearly like sunset or so. We've got the Arthur Dine Knights. One of the best... Infantry units in the game. Um, a really good thing about them is that they do frighten enemy uh, infantry, which is especially useful here today uh, because they don't have a general. Then there's the Dundadine Armsmen, unupgraded. They do look really cool when they do get um, upgraded. They kind of look, have a, a similar look here as the uh, Spearmen, what they Dundadine Wardens. And um, as the Blade Masters and the Rangers. But anyway, we've zoned in over here. We should probably go and help our, our ally out. And they've sent some cavalry over. Which is annoying. And uh, we're just kind of setting up over here. I have no idea how our buddies over there are doing. But all I know is that now that these folks have decided to attack us, we're potentially going to have to redo our formation and... Right, you're going to have to stop right there and you're going to have to run over there. Yeah, they're sending... Oh, they're actually bringing some help over here, but they probably shouldn't. They should probably be focusing on themselves, uh, really, but... Uh... Yeah, Wolf Swordsman there. Right. The battle is very Ooh, let's have a look at this cavalry charge, though. True and steadfast. In they come. The this is how it's... Oh, and they rout. There, that's really good. Nice one. Well, we've just seen that... Uh, the enemy general has gone down, but, I mean... I don't know how well we're otherwise doing. Arthur die knights there. They're not going to be running away or anything. But, uh, yeah, they're taking some charges to the back. But, I mean, we're a slow-moving army. Like, we can't we can't just make it over there whenever... Like, it will take us a while. Uh, I mean, we're already... We already sprinted to here. And, yes, we are natural sprinters and everything. But, uh, still, it's going to take us a while. So, we've got this unit of pikemen. Just happily. Right there. We're going to see some mortar fire. Hopefully come down over there. Oh, look at that. Looking very nice and missing. Uh, but yeah, let's just wipe these bulls out. And we'll bring our cavalry over. Because if they do run away. Uh, done her champions there. And our baluster. Do you know what our baluster, by the way, did? Um, they actually forgot the engines themselves over there. So we just had the baluster crew. Uh, kind of fall into line. You know what? Just fire whatever you want. And uh, you are not hitting what you really should be. If we could just... I mean, there's nothing left of the Dunedain over here. I mean, the last Arthurdine knights going down. Very unfortunate. I mean... I'm sorry, guys, but, like, there's nothing I could do. And so the real battle begins. Uh, let's, we are all on defensive, and, oh my god! <laughs> I just witnessed the skewering of, like, four or five. This is why I hate Siege. 
<laughs> I hate them so much. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, I shouldn't have been... Was I targeting them? Uh, if I was, obviously, I mean, I probably was. I mean, they were also a buyer at will. But, you know, I, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. And, like, what is this accuracy? We couldn't hit the, uh, broad side of a barn door, or whatever the saying is. Right, well, they're clearly coming in to charge us. General, lose formation and hold there. And we're going to smite these bows into the... Oh, we're too slow. <laughs> we're just too slow. Our men are winning the battle. If we um, continue like this, we will smash Right, the well, enemy. abort that. And... Only half the yeah, we'll move back from the line. This is why I don't particularly like putting the catapult right in into the line. Because if you want to move them... Um, then the crew does this whole song and dance, and our cavalry's just been killed somewhere. Like, what pikemen over there? Okay. Um, but they kind of just, like, um, waddle around, and then they all just get caught up in melee, and then they'll never fire again. But anyway, this video of pikemen over here has been rightfully ousted even though they just like look at that they just absolutely annihilated that unit of cavalry it's not the end of the world like they're not too important we've had all the important battles here for now um right attack them in the back actually no you stay there you stay there and we'll bring these guys in uh these hammer guards instead Thank you very much. Uh, they've got some berserkers over there. What are you firing at? You're firing at them. Consider just hitting a shot once in a while. And target that unit over there, perhaps. And, uh, General, go on in. You stop firing and hit the war chanters. You know that they're going to be stationary, so that's a pretty good target for us to go for. And unfortunately now, though, we won't be able to catch any of these routing units. But, you know, is what it is. We'll fire a few shots, right, take them out. What have we got left anyway? 58% of the enemy, apparently. But, like, I don't see very many of them. Um, oh, the pikemen came back. But anyway, this is a very good win for us. <laughs> Not the best allies, though. So we did just allow our allies to get absolutely annihilated. But we are going to hopefully be able to hold on to the settlement for them. And, uh... Oh, we didn't actually send in any help there. But they're, they're wavering. They should surely go down pretty soon. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and... Oh, and well, we did manage to get their captain, who was a mounted unit, and that is pretty much it. We only killed 79% of them, but we can't catch any more. Hopefully, I mean, yeah, they've got 118 soldiers remaining. If they just go into Dunlarak, that will probably aid us or allow them to hold on to it. Uh, yeah, look at that friendly fire. That was totally my fault. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> have they held on to it? Yes, they have. Excellent. And we're just going to auto... Res oh, wait, hang on. No, we can't. Can't be doing that. Graw, you, you need to settle down. It's it's not the winter time. Oh, dear. We're going to have to send another letter over to Balin about that. Uh, Kazadum got the fairground. Let's get the great market in there. How much is that going to give us? Because, I mean, this is this is just... Oh, yeah, look at that. Like, 300 gold. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Right, um, and then after that, hopefully we can get the... Get the bank in. And, Zagala, you're pretty much done. Just get that. Uh, get a measly income bonus there. And... Uh, I reckon the armory would probably be pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's okay. Uh, we'll just get it anyway. Um, even if it's kind of like a, a net nothing or whatever. 
I think this turn we can then go ahead and attack Khan Dum. There should still be a sizable force in there because, yeah, they get five units in that garrison. But uh, we've got pretty good forces here. And, of course, the Barrow Whites of Chief Hoonborn will be there. Um, that will be very interesting. But we're just going to not fight that here today. We're going to finish up. And just have our kind of final thoughts. We finally basically got rid of Dunland here. And I'm very happy about that. And from here on out, hopefully the Northern Dunedain shall have the upper hand. We will be going for Buzzardum. We will be going for Mithlond. And with that, we will also be getting Mount Graham. We are not going to trade away Morvatar for that because we are kings of the mountains. And we will not trade one mountain for another, no matter how uh, pointy it is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'm going to try and recover from this headache. Good day.